Okay, so welcome back. Uh, been a little while, but really this video is just to go over some of the changes I've made uh, to the minivan since, um, I would say the last time I really only put up one video, I believe, about this. But I uh, made quite a few updates, and I kind of just want to walk through and talk about what they are. Uh, really, I haven't used this minivan for much other than just hanging out. So I just adjusted, you know, some of the things to, to kind of make it a lot more likable because that's usually what I do instead of just constantly modifying stuff. I'd rather just use it and then adjust. So what we'll do is we'll start in the back here. Um, really, some of the main changes I made back here were, of course, I added some lights. The lights, of course, are actually running to the USB or actually to the battery that I've already talked about in a previous video. I actually had to reroute everything or well, a lot of my wires because i noticed that a lot of these ports that are on the side here kept like going out i don't know if you can see the voltage but um they appear to be working fine now but yeah previously for some reason i believe it was the one on this side it kept going out so i believe that's sorted other than that um not very much that i've changed back here i believe this may look a little bit different since i just put carpet around it to kind of finish it um, and all this is right here is actually foam board that I carpeted, so I didn't have to recut any wood. Uh, one of the things that I did change with the platform was I actually adjusted where it sits. And then down in this compartment, I actually have some dry bags because one of my gaskets came loose and I had to replace the gasket. But just in case it happened again, I didn't realize there were any moistures or just in case moisture got down there again for whatever reason. I have about four or five dry bags that I just keep. These are reusable. You can just microwave them if they get wet. Um, but I keep those on both sides. And then, of course, I can store stuff down there if I want to. I really don't. Um, let's see. We'll move around over here to this one area that I changed not too long ago. And this was just to give me more space. So I actually took out some of the... Uh, I actually took out one of the seats. And then I got a indoor-outdoor carpet. And then what I use this for is a place where I can just sit, relax. If for some reason I'm like muddy um, or my feet, I have a lot of stuff on them. Then I can actually take everything off here and, you know, I can actually pull this rug out and then just wash it. And of course, underneath the rug, I just have the original mats just to protect the carpet. Okay. It's really about it on that side. Then what I'll do is move to the inside. On the inside here up front, some of the main changes were the addition of the Anon, I think it's the 12 UA Plus. I can put that on the window, uh, Android head unit. And really I had a Pioneer 4100NEX 4, in here that I kept having issues with screen glare. Um, so I got rid of it. This one actually has a neat feature where you can pivot the screen so you can adjust it. I don't want to do it with one hand because I really don't. Okay, there we go. I didn't want to jack anything up. But uh, yeah, so I can actually turn the screen towards me. And I only need it just a little. So I can actually keep the screen visible even when the sun is like shining in from that window. Uh, also, it has Android wireless or Android auto wireless. So I added this wireless charger. One of the things I like about it is, is if you do this, touch the back, there's a sensor. It actually opens. And then when you go to put your phone back, it senses that your phone is there. And then it opens and closes. So this is just a neat thing I got off Amazon. I attached it to the, uh, the change holder. And then, of course, it charges with a... Uh, this is a quick charge. I forget which one, but it appears to be working. Before, I believe I was trying to charge this from another uh, wireless uh, device or wireless charger. And it wasn't keeping up. Actually, no, I'm sorry. It actually... That was not the problem. The problem I had was I was using the cord, the USB from this radio, which is run down here. I have other stuff in there, but it's run down here. And the power that comes from this radio's USBs is not enough to actually keep this phone charged at a higher rate than Android Auto was drawing. So even though I was running Android and it was getting a trickle charge, this was still draining the battery. With this charger, and this, it actually charges fast enough, so I just put it on there, and I'm good to go. I'm going to turn off this so it stops making all the chiming noises. Okay. 
Now what we're going to probably do is move to the outside. The outside I'll just show you uh, very quickly, which I believe this is probably the majority of the work that has been done. Um, I believe in the first video I may have had different tires on there. Now I have BFGs. Oh, sorry. Let me close this door. It does act up. And if you have a Toyota Sienna with automatic doors, you probably know what I'm talking about. All right. So I have the BFGs with the... Uh, um oh gosh i did a plus size on these let me look okay these are 20 or 225 65 17s i think i had blizzaks before and they may have been like factory size blizzaks 17 inch i should say so in addition to that we also did the uh the traxta leveling kit which ranges it about i think it's two inches in the front and one inch in the rear i can verify that and then finally i added the light bar and a light bar cover and i think that may be it oh before i forget there is one more addition on the top here because i got tired of trying to figure out how to carry my spare tire I have a spare tire carrier. There, it comes with a bar that actually goes through the middle of the spare tire. And then there's just a handle that you kind of um, twist until it actually puts pressure on the wheel. Uh, good to get the uh, vehicle, I should say, good to get the tire out of the inside. The bad is, is it's kind of a pain in the butt to get to, so now I need to explore other options. Uh, actually, there is one more thing I want to mention while I'm back here. So I did do some foam board covers on the windows. These are more semi-permanent, you know, since I can just take them down if I want to. But because I just like leaving them up, uh, I really prefer this over the, uh, oh gosh, the Reflectics. Mainly because on the outside, it just looks like the window is tinted really, really dark versus there's Reflectics, which is now a thing, I guess, with people living in their cars and camping it's a little bit more obvious so yeah i took that out let me see i think that's about it this is just my headset charging from the uh the second battery down there or the second charger um yeah i think that's about it so if you have any questions feel free leave them below click like subscribe and agent fit signing out